Hi guys, I'm Tessa and welcome to your total body core workout. Yes, this is a full body workout, but every single move is intentionally designed to target your core, to strengthen, to tone, to pull in, to lift, to fix that posture, all of it. All the benefits of working your core, you'll get today. So we will be doing three different circuits. We have four different moves in each circuit. Each move we'll be doing for one minute total. So today really focus on form, not speed, form, 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 making sure that we are holding ourselves in the proper position to get that the best benefit out of this workout. So we'll do each circuit three times through. It's going to be a real, real full workout today. So you will need your free weight dumbbells. I'll be using probably my fives and my sevens and maybe my twelves. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling. And you'll need your playlist. I have no music, so go ahead and get that set. And that's all you need to know. So let's work out. All right, let's get started. We have a squat with a hip circle. So coming down and then swinging that leg over and across, opening up those hips, waking up your core, keeping that chest up, and sinking nice and low into your squat. Last one. All right, we have an inchworm into a Spider-Man lift. So we're gonna walk our hands out to high plank, bring it all the way down, shoot those arms forward, lift for a Spider-Man push-up. Not Spider-Man, it's your man. Wrong superhero. And then repeat. Lifting those arms and legs, waking up the lower back, upper back, everything. As you press up, engage that core, try to lift that body in one full motion. You got 15 more seconds here. And let's get into a squat press and twist. I'm gonna grab my weights. We'll bring that weight up top. We're gonna to squat down. As we come up, we're gonna to twist to one side and then repeat alternating sides. Using your hips to kind of lift that weight up over your head. Make sure those arms are nice and close to your ears. And as you go down, squeeze your core. It hurts. <laughs> Drop the weight. We have a climber into a tricep push-up. So hands nice and close underneath those shoulders. We're gonna climb one, two, three. Push up. Repeat. Make sure those elbows are squeezing your torso. Exhale as you press up. A 
Last one. Bring it up. All right, come on now. Woo. We've got a full minute break here. Try your best to keep moving. Stretch. want to add weight to this one you can I will not <laughs> let's do this this is round two so if you feel like you've got your form down try to pick up that pace as you swing that leg across make sure your core is squeezing don't let those hips go all out of motion, a lot of form. up top, squeezing that core, bring it down, thrust it up. Make sure that weight goes directly above the head, arms squeezing towards the ears. Oh, 
off, you got it. That's it. We got one more round. My arms feel like jello. seconds. Remember, keeping the core tight. Got this whole thing. If you have to modify to keep going, do so. As long as you keep going. Get ready. Squat and circle. Keep that chest up, abs in tight. more seconds. Make sure you're placing your hip, hands right underneath your armpits. Abs pull in as you push up. Three, two, one. Grab your weight. Last time, here we go. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, last time for our climber with our tricep push up. I hate it. Keeping those shoulders back, core in and up, lifting you. Ha! Ah, I can't anymore. Yes, I can. Let's go. Last five seconds. And 
in time. Uh, oh, that was awful. I don't want to do anymore. Oh, my arms. I can't move them. Grab one of your weights. We're going to get into a high plank position. Abs and tight, wrist underneath your shoulders. We're going to grab that weight. We're going to bring it out to the side for a rear delt fly. Alternating hands. Keeping those abs as tight as possible. Hips facing the ground. If you need more stability, you can bring those feet out just as a little bit wider. The closer they are, the more challenging this move will get. chest press with our leg lift. I'm grabbing my sevens. Hands facing forward, elbows out, legs up. We're going to press up, lower, lift, and then repeat. So as we press, as you hold that press up, our legs go down. Alternating chest and core movement. As those legs lower, make sure your belly button is pulling in towards your spine. Keeping that lower back flat up against the floor. And break into our side plank with a little baby toe touch. Elbows underneath your shoulders, feet stacked or one top foot inside the other. What we're gonna do is we're gonna swing that foot forward, reaching towards the toe, crunching mid air. And switch sides. Check the elbow underneath that shoulder. Keeping those hips lifted, lifted, lifted. You should feel that little pinch in your side oblique. Time.
All right. We have 15 more seconds. Oh, this is no joke. Remember here, we're gonna step forward, but we're lunging down. Activate that core as you kick off, press off. Alternating legs, let's go. Oops. Feeling any tension in your lower back, you feel like you can't quite get that leg lift, you can always bend those knees and do a little baby heel tap. Targets the same muscles, helping you build that inner core. All right, onto your side planks. Sag, lift up out of your shoulder. And switch sides. Side bend stretch here. Ooh, because that just feels so good. Ooh. 
We have one more round. Make it your best. Again, we're going for form here, not speed. Thinking always about that core. Controlling the movement. Ready? Last time. Last one, and bring it down to the mat. Ten more seconds. <sighs> Flip onto your back for our chest press. And last but not least, we have our side planks. Lifting up through the core as high as you can. Wow. Switch sides. We did it. Circuit two complete. Moving on. What's next? All right, grabbing, I think I'm gonna grab 
a five to start out with. We'll see. Five, seven, whatever floats your boat. We'll be doing a side lunge, cross body. We're gonna step out, toes pointed forward, reaching down, kicking those hips back. From there, we're gonna push off, bringing that arm across the air. Really pushing off of that foot. Keeping that back flat as you reach down towards your foot. Keeping that abs tight and switch sides. Here we go. Check that form, toe pointing forward, reaching down, back flat. As you push off, use that momentum to swing that arm across your body. All right, drop that weight. We have a plank walk. Good luck, three plank walks. Step it in, reach up or jump up if you wanna make it a burpee. Let's go. We've got one, two, three. Bring it in, bring it up. The jump is optional. with a bicep curl. Hinging those hips back, reaching down, back flat. Bring it up, curling at the top. Rotating those palms towards you. Squeezing your booty at the top. Remember with that deadlift, you're hinging your hips back, which causes you to lean forward. Don't think about, oh, I need to lean forward. Think about pushing your hips back, causing your upper body to lower. We got five more seconds here. All right, let's finish strong with a dead bug. On your back, pushing your hands up against your knees. We're gonna release one arm overhead, extend the same leg while you're still pushing the other hand, and then alternate. The key here is to keep your hands pressing against those knees, activating that internal core. Woo! This hurts. so crazy. All right, we got one minute break. Enjoy it while it lasts. We have two more rounds. sevens. I 
think it's safe to say I can go up a notch with this one. Go ahead and set it up. Make sure it's the opposite hand to foot. That's working. Keep them at shoulders down, back flat. Let's go. Toe pointed forward. Abs squeezing. Yeah, this is a lot harder. And other side. Here we go. I love the way that one feels. Don't get me wrong, it's hard, but it feels good. We've got one more round, and we are done. Hallelujah. Make sure your form does not suffer 
Even if you get three perfect ones in, I'd rather do three than a bunch of sloppy ones. So keep that in mind. Grab that weight, opposite hand, foot. Let's go. Keeping your chest up. Back flat, abs in, toe pointed forward, hips pushing all the way back. Last one here, let's switch sides. Last move of the day. Onto your backs for our dead bug. That belly button is pulling in towards your spine at the same time. Keeping that hand pressed up against your knee. We're almost there. Here, bring one foot forward into a runner's lunge, 
reaching all the way up, nice and deep into that hip. Hands on the ground, reaching up towards the sky, rotating towards your foot. Bring it back down, straighten that front knee, bring that back foot forward. Bring it down, open up to the sides, or like a little side lunge here. And then walk your hands to the other side. Shift into your runner's lunge, bring those arms all the way up. Whoo, that feels good. Hands on the ground, rotate up towards the sky. Bring that back leg up, straighten the front knee, and rest over that front leg. Step back into your lunge, shift to your side lunge. Now walk it center, grab onto your ankles, pull in, so we're stretching out both hamstrings. Place your hands on the floor and walk your feet in towards one another. Give yourself one last put pull. And then roll up nice and slowly. Arms back and forth. And we're done. Thanks so much guys for joining me today. I hope you're nice and sore. If you don't, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, comment, let me know how you feel right now, like this video, and I will see you guys here again on my channel. Bye.